Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the number one reason why you should be using Click eCourse to host your courses. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about the top five reasons and so I'm just going to go through the different reasons I'm going to create an episode for each of those so you can get a really good understanding as to why I say that and why I think the number one reason is <coughs> for uh, you to cre easily create free accounts for your students and for yourself so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so we're going to show you how to set up a free account on Click eCourse for a student or for you as an author if you want to create a course on there or maybe you wanted you're you're a student you just want to see how easy it is to do so if you find somebody who's got a course and they want you to go and access that course I'll show you how that kind of works and how to create the account creating the account is really simple you just click a button and click another button and that's basically it so we're going to show you that in just a second but first if you're listening to the audio of this you're probably going to want to go check out the video because I do share the screen I do show uh, some things you can't really see in audio so go to cis334.jsgagnon.com to go check the blog post and the video all right let's go get right to it and share the screen right here so if you go to Click eCourse or uh, one of its sister sites right now I'm on onlinecourseindex.com but if you go to Click eCourse which is basically this link here Click eCourse link if you go to clickecourse.com uh, which is c-l-i-c-k-e-c-o-u-r-s-e.com if you're listening to the audio that site is going to show uh, either an about actually it should show an about page I don't know why it was on the feed but it should show an about page like this as you can see right here it says online course index that's because there's sister sites with different uh and it but it looks the same it looks the same except because you can have different sites you can actually create a, your own site and have just your courses on that site instead of sharing amongst others if that's really what you want <clears throat> but to create to create an account it's as simple as clicking on the register uh, button right here and then continuing as your uh, Facebook account right so you just do that it activates your account using Facebook then it says registration with Facebook successful you click on the reload and that reloads the page and now you're logged in see up here I've got a login now right let's get the link uh the link out of there so now I'm logged into the site and I can go and navigate things I can look at courses I can go to the courses link right here and go check that out I can uh see uh, uh the different courses that are there I can select them and go look at them like this, this one here if I go to this uh, success interviews right here it says add to your library so a student that wants to get to this uh, let's log out first I'm going to log out and I want to show you if I log out <coughs> if I log out and I go to this uh, page right here it'll look like this right it'll say log in to add so I can watch some of these some of these I can watch uh actually right now no no these are all um, not accessible unless you log in but there are some courses if I go to courses again there are some courses that are that are public even if you don't have an account say for example uh oh this one here this syndication or creating your first course for example creating your first course is a course to use on the website if you want to learn how to create your course this kind of goes through all the process of creating a course and these are all free I can watch all these if I want I can go straight to this one lesson number three which is um register how to register right which is what we just did which are what I just showed you but the the thing is that if I let's just let this guy finish over here okay so if I go over here oops turn the sound off so I mean this video here is basically going to kind of show you how to register on the account right but the thing is that if you go back to this if I go back to the course 
uh, there's no way for me to tell that oh I already saw this I already saw that so that's why you would want to add it to your account now I can't add it to my account if I'm not registered so if I click on login to add it'll tell me log in but I'm not let's say I'm not registered yet I could click on register instead and then I can do what it what we just did which is a continue as your service now by the way if you use the continue as with Facebook whether you're registering or logging in it's all fine it's all works so you can use the register account I'm already registered now but I can click on this and it'll just re-register me again and now I'll reload the page and now I have <coughs> I have these in here right if I play one of these <coughs> sorry the creating a course one by the way if you don't add the course to your account or if you don't uh, create an account and uh, just watch these it'll always play these little intros right these little intros that are that are just a 10 second thing that plays in front of every single video it'll play all the time but if you register an account and add the course to your um to your um library then you'll it'll just play the first time and even on petty account, if you get a paid account for example you can disable those things but that's basically it. so if I go back to the course here now you can see it still says add to my library if I if I click on add to your library it adds it to the library to my library now it's in my library congratulations adding a great course to your collection start the course now so when I click on it it goes to the first lesson right and it plays that lesson right now so you'll see that if I scroll ahead here if I go to the end let's let it finish when it gets to the end it goes to the next one automatically right now I'm on lesson number two site introduction if I go back to the course if I go back to the course now you can see that this one is showing as green it's showing as done on a certain date and now the next one is then and if I click on resume course it takes me to the second lesson automatically and it actually if I say I'm in the middle of it say I'm at the one see I'm at the one minute mark right here if I go back to the course <clears throat> let's uh, when you click on this it'll go back to that lesson at the same point you were at even if you go from one device to another it'll remember where you were and it knows what your what lesson you're on I can say mark done in next lesson if I want now I'm on the third one mark done in the next I'm on the fourth one if I go back to the course now now I can see these all these other ones are green as well showing that they're played now that's for a student a student going to the site wanting to just access a free course or even buying one right if you once you have an account you can you can buy a course or even if you don't have an account you can actually buy a course but it'll it'll create an account for you based on your PayPal account right PayPal email so that's kind of how it works so that's how you create an account like I said it's as simple as clicking on on the little login let's log out uh, let's move my video out of the way as you can see there's a log out button right there at the bottom I click on the log out it logs you out and then it reloads the page to show the logged out view because it now you're not logged in anymore right it says log in to add uh, but you can still watch free lesson so once you have an account you can also comment see right now it's asking me to log in it doesn't it won't let me comment on this code but if I log in and I and I and I reload the page now that I'm logged in I can actually add a comment so testing this out in cis 33 what is it four three three four where is it three three four that's right and I'm just going to put the comment now that's showing up right here and it's showing me this comment in here and if I go back to the courses and I go back to this particular course if I go to where is it uh -huh. well actually I can search for course right I'll search for course right here <coughs> Yes, there's lots of course course creating your first course right here uh course was not a good a good search term because <laughs> lots of them are they're all courses right and you can see right now that it's showing me that I've got three the three that I've and you can see the comment right here right <laughs> now if I log out again and I reload this now I can see the comment is right here right see I'm not 
this is not me I'm not logged in right now but you can see that there's a comment by me right and uh, that's kind of how that works for the course comments you can also add comments to actual lessons right so if I log in again and I go back to the course let's say I reload this again <clears throat> now it shows me the uh, course info right here and it shows me the creating your first course and the ones where I'm at so if I can actually go into here creating a course I can actually put a comment right on this let's turn the sound off and I can add a comment I can say this is very cool and this is very cool whatever I'll just do that right I'll save that now I have a comment on this lesson just right on the lesson and the what happens too is that if I depending on it depends on whether the feed is updated or not but uh, notification we added a number so let's see if I can get the newer comments updated so whenever I load the feed it just kind of loads up random items from the feed from elsewhere um so I don't know if I'll get this particular one I oh no this is a rating so there's a comment over here uh get some more so this is my feed for me right so anybody who accesses the access as a site won't see the same feed items right this is a feed item in the feed there's going to be things like people rating courses uh people adding lessons to courses uh people uh, setting their profile picture like you saw earlier there right um oh right down here right like these are me testing profile pictures right um and then uh, refresh again yeah so anyways I don't know we're, we're not going to see what I just did but under uh and now if I want to find my courses if I have different courses I can just go right here and go into library right here I'm a student so I want to see what do I have as courses that I actually either bought or added to my library if I go back to the courses here and I look at the free courses any of the free courses this one's free oh I have courses still let's get that out of there let's get that out of there okay all the courses now the ones that are free this is free what's free this one's free I'm going to add this one to my library go back to the courses let's add something else what else is free is there anything else that's free show price sort by price low least expensive first there you go Facebook friend growth tip I can add that one add this to my list so now as you see I've added three courses to my library right so if I go back here and I go to library now I can see all the courses I have right it shows me all the courses now if, now if, I, if I had bought a course <clears throat> it would show the price or oh, that I that I paid for the course um in the in the list there okay so that's for a student now as an author you want to create a course well the registration is just as simple you just go and register your account but then what you can do is you can create a course you just click on this big plus button here and you cl click on course <coughs> and that's it you just and then you just start filling in the title the summary the details and you can go through each of these tabs um but or you can just click on the next right here each time you enter something there's going to be a test course test for cis334 uh, I'm just going to say this is a test course for cis334 testing okay so testing right and I click on next the next one is SEO hash I don't let's not worry about that header code is where you would have a conversion bot id and header code and footer code things like that these are advanced things right then there's a there's categories if you want them to be sorted or searchable through certain categories and next is the head the cover image there isn't any by default so I can put something like uh let's just put let's see what do I have in here these are all videos 
are there images here let's use this one there you go next so I'm just going to put that okay now let's say I want to make this a, a, a course I sell so I'm going to put at 497 and I'm going to give you know 75 percent commission right uh, afterwards I say access I want to be make it unlisted and uh, that's that's it the, the rest I don't need so I click on done and there you go so now I have this course test for CIS 334 that's on the site and I can I can sell it to people as you can see it says 9 497 right there I can actually go uh, because it's unlisted it won't show in the in the course page but I can send people the link to it right I can just send them this li the link uh that's the that shows up in my browser there the link to the course right um and uh, yeah so that's basically it so then there's a there's other things right feeds details so feeds is not available unless you upgrade right so that's so that you can whoops I didn't uh, so the feeds is uh and you know what I'm just trying I'm wondering if I'm getting ahead of myself here because I said today is we're going to talk about the free account right the free setup these are the top five reasons but today we're talking about it's free to set up an account for you or your students uh it's easier to create video course so I'm kind of going through that so let's not go into that right now but um yeah so then the rest is uh, uh basically I can delete the course if I want just click on delete right here it confirms it asks me to confirm are you sure and by the way you can't delete a course once you have students that paid for it um in the in your course so if I if I click on this it deletes it right so now the course is gone if I go back to courses I have these other courses in here by the way you can actually show you can look at there's three different views to courses you can have this basic view which is just images which you know is useful once there's like thousands of the courses on the site it might be nicer to look at just images uh, then there's the default view which is the image with the title and the price if you enable the price display whoops disable that and then there is the oh that's why I can't I can't take the price away if I'm sorting my price so I'm just going to say title right here take the price away okay so um so that's just the courses right here uh then there's the details view which shows you in a table format and I can actually put details in here which also adds to me the thumbnail the rating the created the updated the lessons the files the total length and the author so I can see who posted these as you can see it's all me right now but that's basically how the site works for and you can see the price here I can sort by the price by just clicking on it sort by the rating or the reverse rating uh, the data was created if I want the first the old the first course I ever created the last course I ever created the first one right was this one that I actually posted with 29 lessons wow I didn't even remember that interesting okay and uh, but anyway so then the, the course that has the most lessons this one here simple online strategies you got 260 then course income secrets has 224 actually course income secrets should have more than that because that's only because I didn't post all of them in there right there's even the CIS for for uh, where is it CIS for 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 Alexa right over where is it wow I don't maybe it's not showing up oh it's not even on this site okay and that's that's an interesting point here whenever you have a course you can have it on multiple sites right now I'm on course online course index.com and that site doesn't have all the courses right so if I go to uh, to click eCourse this site here and I log in on there as myself and I go to my courses the courses I created so under your profile you can see courses and you can see library right so CIS for Alexa I want it to show up on the other site so right now it's not because it's not enabled on the other site so I'm just going to show you how that works under under sites right here it's actually nowhere except for the uh it can't be on the free one because the free one doesn't allow it but I'm just going to do that and now if I go back to here and I reload this now it'll show that other one so Alexa 
show details Alexa oh right there see it's right here so there's the one right here 208 lessons 224 260. let's get that out of there so yeah so that's that's how you create an account as I said you just click on this and then once you uh once you're logged if you're logged out <laughs> when you go to the site you're going to see register a login button right so if you want to create an account you just click on the register or the even the login would work too for if you're using Facebook the other option you have is if you don't want to use your Facebook account if you want to use just an email and password you can just click on use email and password and then you'll be able to say your email address and then a password and confirmation the only difference here is that if you do that then you will have to check your email for a link to activate your account let's see like I'm going to do it right here I'm just going to create a default account oops and by the way you can delete your account afterwards if I click on this and I it'll say that it sent me an email right check my email so if I go to my inbox I should have it here shortly right over here account activation and it's basically a link that will allow me to activate the account so now when I click on it now my account becomes activated and that's that's uh, still the same it's a new account and if I go to here I can look at for example uh, I don't like I said it's not I don't have any courses here right so if I go to courses oh yeah let me just show you because I just created this account under library there's nothing right there's I have not added any course to my library yet right so now if I go back to the courses and I want to add say this one success interviews is a free one right so I'm going to add it to my library and then if I go back to my library now I can see I have this course in it right go to this course and there you go so now I can I can watch these these interviews right I can go on here let's just let it finish his little introduction and then he's going to go to my to this interview I had here with uh, Romualda so there you go at the six minute 23 mark right as a, as you see if I go back to the course I can I at this one if I mark this done I mark this done okay so now if I resume the course actually why that didn't work because that didn't work because I haven't um and this one here is going to go to the should should go anyways to the three yeah six minute mark see it goes to the six minute mark because that's where it was last time it remembers right go back to the course now now I see these two and then if I click on resume it goes to where I was right 623 is coming 633 right so there you go so that's how that's how the creation of okay I'm still talking about just students but I just wanted to show you how to create an account without your Facebook if you don't want to use Facebook as you can see the difference is that you're not going to have a profile picture right here you're going to have to go edit it yourself if I go here I can choose a file here I can select a, a profile picture let's just I don't know let's use this one what it doesn't really matter right let's use this one here I'm going to use that profile picture save it so then it uploads it and it shows me that as a profile picture right I can actually change my username to cis334 if I want and it's going to be cis test right uh test now if I do this like that and I go back to courses here and I go into this course here right that I already have when I add a comment it's going to say hey testing right and if I save that now you see it's test cis334 right nice have that name there that's because I 
I set the display name so that it shows me that now I can go edit this uh if I go to my profile this is the cool part about the site it doesn't actually put that in the comment it just puts that you did it so if I said um js test 334 right over here in my display name if I save that and I go back to the my library I can actually go right here to the library I can go back to the course and if I look at the comment see now it says js test right because it just keeps track of who it is so that means if I was to change the profile picture it would actually change it here as well right so those are things like that so that's so that's how you set up an account like I said it's all about clicking the login or register and entering your information and that's that's as simple as that all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out go ahead and comment below the video comment below the blog post subscribe to the channel all the good stuff and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.